Hello and Namaste beautiful yogis. How are you all? Today's practice is all about our uterus and our uterus health. It's very important in this hectic lifestyle to keep, take care of our reproductive system. So without any further ado, let's begin. The first posture we are going to do is actually the pranayam practice of alternate nostril breathing, also known as Nadi Shodhana. Take your left hand on your left knee. The index finger and the thumb are touching. Place the palm over the knee. You can sit in any seated posture of your choice. And from the right hand, fold the three fingers. Just keep the index finger and thumb. And close the right nostril with your thumb after inhalation. Now close. And exhale through the left. Inhale through left. Close the left, pause here, exhale through right, inhale through right, close the right, pause here, exhale through left. So we are doing alternate nostril, uh, nostril breathing in 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio which means the length of the exhalation and the inhalation and the pause, the retention of the breath is the same. We are not doing in any other ratio. Just maintain the 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio. Alright. So closing the right nostril with your right thumb. Exhale through left. Inhale. Close the left. Pause. Exhale through right. Inhale through right. Close the right. Pause. Exhale through left. Inhale through left. Close the left. Pause. Exhale through right. Inhale through right. Close the right. Pause. Exhale through left. Inhale through left. Close it. Pause. Exhale through right. Inhale through right. Close, pause, exhale to left and release. We did about 5 rounds of this practice. You can do 10 to 20 rounds of the practice. Moving on to Janu Shishasana. Extend both your legs in front. Fold your left leg. Fold the knee so that the foot is resting on the inner thigh inside of the right thigh now see that your body is not turning towards the side the body the shoulders stay facing in front you can bend your knee at this point in time the right knee toes remain flexed pointing upwards and towards you inhale here as you exhale bend forward the stomach and thigh connection is very important in this posture we are stretching the complete back. We are also stretching our hamstrings. This posture is excellent for the menstrual cramps as well as it helps in the menopausal discomfort. You can extend your leg if your body allows you. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Keep extending the leg as much as your body allows you. But maintain that stomach and thigh connection. No space between stomach and your thigh. This posture stretches the muscles of back and pelvis. It also improves the problems of uterine fibroids and flushes out toxins. One last breath. And release. Extend the arms. Come up. Exhale down. Change the sides, extend the left leg, fold the right leg, resting the foot on the inner thigh of the left leg, keeping the body straight, pointing in front towards your foot and not towards the side, towards the diagonal. Inhaling, extend the arms up. You can choose to keep the knee bent. Exhale, bend forward. Continue to breathe. This pose also strengthens the back muscles, which is very useful during pregnancy. 
This also puts pressure on your ovaries, on your uterus, increasing circulation, blood circulation in that area. Few more breaths. Inhale, come up. Exhale, down. Extend both your legs. You can choose to keep the knees bent if your hamstrings are super tight. If not, you can extend your legs completely. We have to maintain the stomach and the thighs connection. Remember that in all the forward folds. And if you have any kind of back pain, sciatic pain, any kind of nerve pain, please avoid these first two postures. The previous one, one like a seated forward fold as well as this one. Inhale here and exhale, bend forward. If your stomach is not touching the thighs, feel free to bend your knees and stay here. This also stretches the uterine and ovarian muscles. An excellent posture to stretch your pelvic region, stretch your hips, stretch your glutes, stretch your back. Keep breathing. One last breath. And inhale, come up. Exhale down, roll over for Cobra Pose. Staying in Cobra Pose can help you release the back pain, release the stress as well. Keep the palms underneath the shoulders. See that you're pushing the pubic bone down. So you are tightening the glutes pushing the pubic bone down as you inhale lift up don't let the elbows flare out elbows stay in open chest and stay and breathe the cobra pose stretches and strengthens the muscles of the uterus it increases blood circulation through the spine and pelvis also releases tension out of the body keeps your uterus healthy and regulates the menstrual cycle and come down release can repeat this posture we're going to go to child's pose sit back onto your heels this pose helps release your stress and anxiety beautiful posture to stay long if you have the time Sit back onto your buttocks. Bring your knees, uh, bring your heels, bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees flare out and lie down on your back for reclining bound angle pose. This posture again helps increase circulation in your pelvic region, in your uterine region, sends blood flow to your uterus, to your ovaries. Excellent to release all the stress and tension that you're holding. You can keep your palms on your belly. Observe your breath. The reclining bound angle pose or Supta Baddha Konasana is an essential posture for fertility. It's a gentle restorative posture that opens up the energy of our pelvic girdle, stretches out our inner groin and thighs, opens our heart and calms the mind. The essence of this posture is to create space and openness both physically and mentally in order to prepare for conception. This pose can help relieve mild depression and anxiety and is therapeutic for high blood pressure and asthma. And from there, bring the palms underneath your thighs. Join your knees together with the support of your palms. Extend your legs up for Vipreet Karni Asana. You can keep holding your legs here, supporting them. Keep the legs straight or bent, choice is yours. This also helps release or relieve you from any kind of the leg pain. Again, all the blood flow is coming towards the pelvic region. This again helps relieve all the tension and the stress. 
stay here and breathe if you want you can place your legs against the wall if you have access to the wall keep breathing this posture is best for relieving menstrual cramps it also soothes pain in the lower back and it is a must to keep your uterus healthy Relaxing in this posture after coitus increases the chances of conception even with a decent fertility rate. And gently bend your knees, bring the feet down. Extend your legs for the final posture, Shavasana or Corpse Pose. Let your arms be by the sides. Letting go of any tension, any stress that you're holding in the body. Relax here. The Shavasana or Corpse Pose brings a deep meditative state of rest which helps in repair of tissues and cells and in releasing stress. It's the perfect way to end a yoga session, leaving you in a state of rejuvenation. It helps reduce blood pressure, anxiety and insomnia. Stress and anxiety are fertility killers. This pose helps increase your fertility just by relaxing and cooling down. And when you're ready, move your fingers and your toes. Move your head side to side. Bring your feet together, bend your knees. Roll over onto the right side. Take support with your left palm, come up and sit up. This completes our practice. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for practicing with me. Thank you for watching. Thank you and Namaste.